What's poppin' fight fans? It's your boy, Mystic Black, here on a Sunday. I know it's unusual, it's a different time, uh, different time, usually on on Thursdays, but it doesn't matter. I'll be on any day, especially when we have breaking news like we had today, uh, pretty much official, just waiting for the uh, COVID test to be passed by Jorge Masvidal. Um, we got Masvidal versus Kamaru Usman for the UFC Walter Waite title. Masvidal is taking this fight on one week's notice. Basically, he flew to Vegas yesterday, uh, or this morning, I believe, and took a private jet here from Miami, and now he's in Vegas. He has to take a test. If he passed that test, he will be flying to Abu Dhabi tomorrow, and that's a 14-hour flight. So he drove, he flew five hours from Miami to go all the way to uh, Las Vegas. That's a uh, what? Now, now we're we're at 19 hours altogether uh, to fight to take this fight on one week's notice. Unfortunately, uh, Gilbert Burns uh, is out of the fight because he tested positive for uh, the coronavirus, and he's not going to be able to fight Usman. So they called Masvidal. I guess they gave him that that number that he wanted. Eventually, it happened. He wanted that money, and there's no way they didn't give it to him this time. Pretty happy for him, and he, now he's going to be fighting Kamaru Usman. For the UFC welterweight title next Saturday in Abu Dhabi. Um, do I think that they should be fighting in Abu Dhabi? There is no reason, honestly. Because you know you don't want to add more issues to what's already happening. I think that they should just fight in Vegas. Why not fight at the Apex? Why not have the cast on? I mean, have the, the card going. And when it gets to the main event, all they do is just cut to, to Vegas. There's no fans anyway. So there's like, I feel that there's no reason that they have to go all the way to Abu Dhabi. It'd be easier if it was here. Masvidal is going to have to cut weight. And when being on that plane, he's going to hold a lot of water, water weight. Speaking of water weight, <laughs> he's going to hold a lot of water weight. No, I'm not cutting weight for anything. Um, he's going to hold a lot of water weight to when he, uh, before he gets over there. And Masvidal doesn't really walk around too heavy. I think he walks around about, what, 185. He stays within range of his weight. He's not one of those guys who's walking around at 200 pounds, 210 cutting down to 170. It won't be the most difficult cut, but it'll definitely be difficult in the sense of he has to do it within six days. So he's probably already starting his weight cut now. He's going to have to do it. Um, oops. He's going to have to do it when uh, he's going to have to do it uh, while he's on the plane and watching his weight the whole entire time. So it should be interesting. How's everybody feeling about this fight? This is huge news. When I heard when I heard Gilbert go out, I'm just like, you got to call game bread. You got to call Game Bread. You got to give him that money. You got to make sure that he gets that he gets that title shot. I know Colby Covington was talking as well that he's like, oh, you, they know who to call. Call Colby. But I think Colby just talks just to talk. He doesn't really take short notice fights like that. They, they offered him a short notice fight against Tyron Woodley. Declined it. Uh, so you decline fights with the UFC, they're not going to come back to you. So they went to Jorge Masvidal. Jorge Masvidal declined. Yes, Jorge Masvidal did decline the fight the first time with Usman. That's because he wanted more money. Which is justified, you know? Yes, Nick, the UFC gods have indeed answered our prayers. We were talking about this on our uh, our, live, our live cast on uh, Thursday. And we're like, we hope Jorge fights for the title next at, at some point. And look at that. Two days later, we get, <laughs> we get our wish. And I feel like, finally, the MMA gods has, you know, given us something that we want. And I feel like that card, which was already stacked in the, in the first place, is even, like, that main event. Who doesn't want to see this fight? Masvidal and Usman, two guys who do not like each other. Two different styles. Masvidal is more of a striker. Usman, wrestler, can strike as well. He can stand. He can stand. He'll be able to stand with Masvidal. But how long will he be able to stand with Masvidal? It's only one way to find out. Saturday, July 11th, live. Fight Island. Abu Dhabi. Yes, Island. One place. But, um... Yeah, super excited about that fight. Uh, a lot of things uh, happened. Uh, Abraham Kawa posted Masvidal getting off the plane in Las Vegas, just confirming that he is indeed in Vegas. I can be talking all of this right now, and Masvidal tests positive for COVID virus, but we're going to pray to the MMA gods that that doesn't happen. I feel like he'll, he'll be clear. He uh, When he trains at ATT, he has personal uh, training sessions and not training around 10, 15 people as per usual. So we're going to see um, what happens when uh, we're going to see what happens after he takes his test and hopefully he doesn't test positive. So ooh, let's not let's not let that let that happen. 
I'm gonna add Nick in here for a second. Uh, not for a second. I'm gonna add Nick in here in a, in a second. Where? Here we go. He is working. There he is. There he is. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Something good happened this weekend or something? Is there? Is there know, some maybe. kind of like? Some kind of news that broke today that people were happy about. You're happy about today. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is this is honestly, it's God sent, man. I'm so it's, excited. It's, for, I mean, and granted, I feel terrible for Burns because I did feel that he was deserving of this title shot. But I mean, like I said, this was the fight that really was the appropriate match that that we were this, expecting, and not only that, but the the one that we wanted the most. Yes, everybody Everybody wanted that fight. I mean, everybody was excited, excited for Gilbert Burns, too, to get that title shot. He's been doing yeah. pretty well. He beat Tyron Woodley. He deserved it, 100%, but not everybody was as hyped for that fight compared to, like, even when we talked about it the other day. We were more looking forward to Volkanowski and, and Holloway, maybe Aldo, Jan. But yeah. now we get Masvidal Usman within a week, which, it, <clears> it, you know, it kind of tears me apart because I'm just like, man, I wish I had, like, more time to, like, take this in and maybe, you know, a month promotion or two months just like waiting for it but yeah. you know what it's fine in a week's notice during especially during this quarantine time where we're still pretty much home i'm not yeah. complaining <laughs> yeah, man, better late than never right better late than never that's Dude. right <laughs> i don't like know that mm -hmm. go ahead no i'm saying I, and, and and honestly I, I think whoever wins this fight it doesn't matter i think burns is still going to get whoever whoever wins so it's not like one. he missed out on an opportunity like he's going to be no. there for the next one Absolutely. He'll get, he'll get the winner of this fight without a doubt. It kind of leaves uh, Kobe Covington without a person yeah. to fight. I mean, he can fight Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley wants to fight pretty pretty soon. Boom. Now you know you're not going to fight Masvidal. And I don't know if he thought he was going to fight Masvidal next anyways. But now you got Tyron Woodley there waiting to, to fight somebody. Boom. Fight yeah. him. Put, them in, put that in the main, main event. My boy Masvidal is going to start. I got so many messages today and everybody just like, oh my God, Masvidal got the title shot. He's going he's gonna to kill him. He's going to beat him. Listen, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. People have to make sure they're not disrespecting Kamar Usman yeah. because Kamar Usman has not like people lost are jumping the gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're jumping the people gun. Are jumping, jumping the gun. <laughs> of course, you know, as a Miami guy, I'm gonna be rooting for Masvidal, but that doesn't Absolutely. mean. And I think that he that he can win. Will he? Will he win? I guess we'll we'll talk about that on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> but I think I think people are definitely discounting Usman way too early. I mean, he's Way been undefeated in, uh, for, for so long now, and I just... Six years undefeated. Yeah, and I just think that he can't be underestimated, man. I think that's the first mistake that, that people make, and hopefully, I don't think Masvidal is going to make that mistake. I think he's going to come in hungry. I think he's going to come in educated as well as what, what tactics he needs to make. He always tends to change his style, like, especially when you see, like, the, his last two fights, um, yeah. you know, between Till and Aspirin, like, they, they were completely... Two different approaches. So I think he'll, he'll be prepared, but definitely we shouldn't discount Usman just yet. No, no. And Usman is what? He's about, if he wins this fight, he'll have a 12-fight win streak in the welterweight division. That beats GSP for the longest mm -hmm. streak in that welterweight division. So, and he hasn't fought any, like, blokes either, too. The Usman is fighting. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He's very fighting. tough competition. Colby Covington hit Usman a couple times, and other people would have gone down. Usman was mm -hmm. still in there. And he pushes <clears> forward when he fights, too. So this is what... That's one thing I'm going to love so much about this fight because none of these guys fight backwards. None of these guys are backing up towards the cage. They are going to be in each other's face the whole entire time. These are guys who don't get knocked out. Jorge Masvidal, I think, has been knocked down once in his career. A kick he didn't see. Boosman's never been knocked down in, in his UFC career or, or in his career, period. So there's going to be a lot of forward, 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 forward on, in this fight, and I am yeah. super excited for that. Um, also, now, for sure... Masvidal got that money, without a doubt. I yeah. know they gave him that money. I know they gave him that money, especially for him to have to fly to Vegas, then fly all the way to Abu Dhabi. That's almost 20 hours of, flight, of, of fighting. Yeah, man. Fighting, my bad. Of flying to, you know, to, to help the UFC out, basically. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. So when supply I, I, goes low, demand goes high. Never good. <laughs> so I hope, I hope that he got, like, you know, that milli, whatever he was trying to get that's, you know, yeah. A lot, uh, that that he wanted, you know, and I feel when usually when they fight in the, like the Abu Dhabi area, they pay them really well compared to when they're here, because mm -hmm. I believe Habib's purse uh, for the fight against Dustin Dust, Dust, Dust Poirier was about 12 million. I think it was 12 million. His 
purse, not even the money he made off the pay-per-view points. Jeez. So when they fight over there, usually it's in the million-dollar marks, and they're making this buku amount of money. So yeah. hopefully Masuda got that, and he'll be a happy man no matter what because all he says it all the time. Listen, I fight anybody as long as this Yeah, exactly. Right here, the money's right. This right here is correct. So do you think um, he's going to have any issues this week, like weight-wise, excuse me, strategy-wise? I don't think strategy. Strategy, I think he's always prepared. I think he's always looking, especially since he's been anticipating this fight for so long, even though it wasn't official until today. I think that ultimately in his mind, he always had Usman set to, to, to fight against him. Now, yeah. as far as like you had mentioned, the travel, the weight gain, the weight loss, that everything that comes with that, that's definitely going to be challenging. I mean, first of all, we has, he has to pass the, the COVID-19 test, obviously. So okay. hopefully that goes well. And then secondly, yeah. like you said, Flying on a plane, um, I just I, I, I suppose that's my biggest concern getting into this. This is weight because I know that he can he can do everything he can in his power, but obviously flying both uh, from Miami to Vegas, so that's already some uh, some already added some weightage, flight, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then now he's got to fly to Vegas all the way to Abu Dhabi, which is even longer time than probably it yep. is from here, in Miami. So it's it's going to be interesting to see if he makes weight. But I think that he's the ultimate professional and I think, um, you know, God willing, he'll be, he'll be ready to fight. But strategically, yeah. I think like, yeah, of course, he's going to be definitely set uh, for that. Yeah, and I don't think Masvidal is a guy that you want to take a, one, a week's notice uh, fight with because he's just always yeah. in the gym. He's different always preparing. Too. He's different, yeah. And he's 100% well-rounded. And I saw, mm -hmm. I think about, I want to say a month ago, he was training with like the top wrestler in college. Like he had him there at top team, and for him to 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 be preparing already, and he had no fight. The fight between uh, Gilbert Burns was already signed, so there was no reason, you know, there was not a real reason for him to be there. But those these are these kind of guys who are just always prepared, no matter what. Game bread. That is literally his name. That's literally his nickname. He's always ready for anything when duty calls or money calls. In, the, in this in this, <laughs> in this case, so yeah, yeah. And then I know some people might be confused when like. To new fight fans that are, like, just starting to watch MMA, you see Masvidal's record, 30, 36 and 13, I believe. He's had 49 fights. Don't let that confuse you. Just because he's lost 13 times doesn't mean he's not that caliber of a fighter because he is. He's fought the who's who's of people in his whole entire career, beat them. Some he's lost to split decision. He's not getting beaten bad by any of these people. I, I haven't watched a Masvidal fight where he's just getting completely dominated. Maybe Steven, Steven Wonderboy Thompson, but I feel like yeah. – Masvidal was kind of hitting a, a wall at that point. He took that year and a half break, came back, and look at him now. A break, like, yeah, man. This whole new energy that you can't have, like that second win in your MMA career, if you give yourself the time away and you let the mind rest and you let, you know, the body rest as well. Because a lot of these guys, they fight injured. They fight injured. They, 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 they'll fight four times in a year and they'll have a bad knee, something in their back, and they'll just keep fighting because they want to make money, of course. But you, sometimes you got to give your body that break. Yeah. No, but I mean, it's just like you said, I mean, he didn't have any scheduled fight and yet here he is preparing as if he's going to fight tomorrow. And that says everything you need to know about this guy. And yeah. not only that, but like you said, he's working with a wrestler, which is not yeah. really his game. So he's always, he's just the ultimate professional. And that's why he's so unpredictable in the ring because you don't know what strategy he's going to bring. So yeah. like you said, with a week notice, it's actually, I feel an advantage for him more so than it is Usman, because you, most of the time you think people with short notice, they don't have the advantage. But in this case, I think he does, because now it's like, dude, I was preparing for, uh, in Usman's case, I was preparing for Burns this whole time. He's my completely teammate. I kind of <laughs> know what, uh, what, it, what it's like, but now it's a completely different fighter. And I can't stress or emphasize enough just the bad blood between these guys, man. I love yeah. it. I love it, man. I remember when they, they met up at uh, the Super Bowl um, yeah, it was uh, yeah, radio, radio Row or something. Radio like Row, yeah, Radio yeah. Row. And they were in each other's faces, and I thought something was going to happen quack, then quack. and there. Yeah, quack, quack, quack. And just, I didn't think it was as bad until I saw that. You know, they would talk on in the internet and stuff. Uh, yeah, of course, thing, everybody does. And Usman would change up sometimes some things that he said, but Masvidal has been pretty consistent, you know, of everything that he said in this standpoint as, as well. But we can't forget to give Usman some credit, too, for taking a fight like this on week's notice, you know, because that is yeah. a very, very tough fight for, for anybody to, to, yeah. to take off one week. This is true. Like, I, I think that he could have – I'm sure that he had a say in it as well. Like, you know, I mean, it, it's not like, 
oh, okay, well, this guy dropped out, but you're still obligated to fight. We're going to bring in whoever we want. No, he had to get, uh, they had to get his permission as well. So That's it says right. a lot about him, and I'm glad that he didn't back down because I think that'll further solidify, uh, you know, uh, it, it for, his, well. for his uh, point, uh, for lack of a better word, I suppose chicken or, or whatever yeah, he wants to call him. I'm sure, he's, <laughs> I'm sure he's using more choice words, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. But, um, but yeah, no, he's uh, – I'm just so excited for this fight, man, because I can't remember the last time that I've seen a fight where you just see two guys – I mean, like, uh, probably Khabib and, and McGregor was the last fight that I've seen that the two guys just absolutely loathe each other. Yeah, hate each other. Yeah, and I, so I'm, I I'm just super excited for that. I'm just praying. I, I, I promise you every night that I will pray to the MMA God that something does not happen. It brings me back to the situation to where – uh, Max Holloway stepped in for um, who who was uh against Habib? When Max Holloway stepped in, stepped in against Habib, when Tony Ferguson yeah. got it, and I'm just like, I'm gonna get to see Max Holloway against Habib Nurmagomedov? No way! And all I was doing was I'm just excited all week, excited all week, excited yeah. all week. I forgot to pay, pray to the MMA gods. I made a mistake. I got too excited. I didn't I didn't do my do my thing at night just to make sure it would happen. And what happens? Friday, Max Holloway out of the fight. But that's okay, man. You know what? We got all this. Uh, we got, you know, obviously Jorge's from Miami, and yeah. and he's a Cuban American. So you know, yeah. we got all this Santeria that's gonna be behind Santeria? us. No, everybody, all these, all these uh, abuelas are gonna be, you know, are gonna be there putting their pennies at the saints and lighting their candles and everything. So it it would just be so amazing to see somebody who has had such a long career like that, uh, yeah. and had such had such an amazing last year and. Everything that he's done in his career, from fighting in the back, the, the backyard to fighting in Strike Force, fighting in Bellator, finally getting to the UFC, having his up and down, ups and downs, fighting at lightweight, and then finally finding his home at welterweight, where he just completely turned his career around. Not to say his career was bad; it was. It's always been good. It's always been exciting. Right. But for him to get to this point, it almost reminds me of like a Alistair Overeem too. Alistair Overeem's fought, yeah, I think fifty something fights in, in MMA, and that's not even mm -hmm. counting his kickboxing fights, and. He's about to be on a streak as well to try to get back to that championship. So, you know, yeah. to see guys like that we've been watching for such a long time reach this pinnacle in their career and have the opportunity to fight for a title, like I'm happy he's even fighting for the title, you know, at this point. But exactly. he wins, if he wins that, it's going to be one amazing, like, exclamation point on his career. No, it definitely okay. is. And what I felt that this was the last shot to get a title fight because yeah, let's say that... Run. Even even if Burns and Usman had fought, it was possible that they were going to fight, but I just didn't see it. I felt like the momentum needed to be carried out now at this moment because if not, it was going to be it was going to sizzle. So the fact that they're going to actually go through with this, I'm so excited just for him because he's also he's late in his career. Not yeah. to say that he doesn't have any more left in the tank or that he's going to be finishing soon, but you know opportunities don't usually come at this age, you Correct. know. So yeah. I definitely am, am happy that he finally got this opportunity. Um, yeah, it wasn't originally planned, but whatever, man. When you know, when opportunity knocks, you got to answer the door, and he did that. And he and he wasn't going to hesitate either, I'm sure. No, 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 no. Unless the money wasn't right, but there was right. no way. There was just, the I money, just didn't yeah. see any way they were going to give him the correct amount of money. Yeah. Especially they need. They, they could, can they have they Max Holloway headline the card? Yeah, they could. But to have somebody like Jorge Masvidal have that that's on the card, not, yeah, exactly. That's another. That's another like echelon of just like viewers you want, who are going to want to watch. Yeah, exactly. You want to talk about bumping up your pay per view uh, numbers? I mean, no, you, 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 exactly. You can't do that with Holloway and Volkanovski. And I mean, that's a great fight, and I'm looking forward to that fight. But I mean, Masvidal just brings uh, uh, brings the people. Just like there's certain amount of uh, there's there's certain fighters that people are going to watch. You know, like the casual MMA fan, they're yeah. going to tune in for that. You know, if, if Usman Masvidal wasn't on this card, I don't think the impact of the pay-per-views was going to be that significant. No, so this, people, this is a people big game changer. It. Yeah, they would have watched it, but I don't think it would be as big as this is going to be. Yeah. And I honestly didn't think Masvidal was going to fight until there was, like, a card with a crowd, you know, because, you know, mm -hmm. if, if you wanted more money, you need an audience there so they can give, so they can give you that. And I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. maybe you won't fight this year. Maybe you'll fight next year when they get people back in, in stadiums. And look at that. Well, a week later... He's back. I think I'm pretty sure. I think I said that on Thursday on our on our live cast. I think I brought that up. But like now, it's just so crazy how much has changed from Thursday to today. You to know, now. like when I when I called you and, and I was just like, Gilbert Burns is out of the fight. Like this is the first thing you said. 
Masvidal, baby. <laughs> get him, get yeah, him. Yeah, I did. I think I sent you that said. text. I was like, Masvidal, it's got to be. Masvidal, there's got to be Masvidal. I didn't, I didn't think they would offer it to anybody else, to be completely honest. Yeah, and exactly. No, Le no Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards just mm -hmm. can't. He can't train. He can't get out of London. It's literally impossible. I just didn't understand. I don't know if you were listening before why they have to fly to Abu Dhabi. Like, why not just do it at the Apex? Yeah. They're both two American guys. Keep them here. Like, why are we sending them all the way over there? Like, the other guy, the reason for Fight Island is for international fighters to be able to fight. So yeah. if there's no reason for them to be, to, to, for them to fly over there, just do it here. There's not going to be a crowd there. There's not going to be a crowd here. You're, everybody's going to be watching from their TV. Who cares where it is? Put it yeah, here. Exactly. <laughs> as soon as it hits the main event, back, we're in Vegas now. That, yeah, that, no, I, I mean, like that would... I, th I think that, that definitely, maybe it, what it is is that I, th I feel like Dana has definitely hyped this thing up so much. And I'm not going to say that it's going to be hot air, but he's hyped mm -hmm. it so much already. He's so invested in it that I suppose like this is the only way for him, you know, for, for you know, from a business aspect. Business I don't aspect. know if logistically it makes sense, but I mean, sometimes you got to spend some to make some. That's true. That's, that's very, very true. But, and he said, it's a lot of hot air. It's literally hot air over there, 100%. Yeah. I've, been, I've, been seeing, I've been seeing these fighters uh, walk. Well, they can't leave the hotel, yeah, but when they were something. getting there, it was a hunt. I think it's a hunt. Are you going to check the, the weather? I'm going to check the, the weather check in Abu Dhabi. The, check yeah. the weather in Abu Dhabi. See how it is. I think it's like 105 or something like that. So literal hot air over there. And a lot of the fighters, too, this is something that is kind of uh, going to be difficult is that they have to quarantine in their room for 48 hours. They already did it. They did it for 36 hours in Las Vegas, and now they're doing it for 48 hours in, in Abu Dhabi. So I feel Jeez. like cutting weight must be very difficult, not being able to leave your room. Yeah, exactly. And, and, well, and, mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'll and, let you finish it. Sorry. Yeah, Paige, Paige Van Zandt was uh, talking about uh, how they keep knocking on her door in the middle of the night just to make sure, like, they got tested. And she couldn't sleep. So they're just like yeah. very on, on top of them. And I feel like they're, they're going to be very irritated while they're there. And then you add on to that, that it's scorching hot. <laughs> like that doesn't, that doesn't help anything. How much is it? How, how uh, hot is it over there? So or on Saturday, be... Saturday, it's going to be a high of 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh and God. at night, it's going to be a cool, crisp 91 degrees. A cool, cool is 91 degrees. Can you imagine being outdoors? It's nighttime and then the heat is blowing in your face. Like, I feel like yeah. we haven't had that. Thank God we haven't had that in a while. But I remember a summer where I went outside and I'm just like, am I, is something happening? Like, is some heater on outside? And it was just yeah. that hot, humid. Nine, it was 92 degrees when I checked my phone. I'm like, something must be happening in this world right now that it's so hot. So now they have to deal with that over there. And exactly. Ugh. That's, and that's, that's, and that's the, the temperature it's going to be, not the feels-like temperature that they've been oh, using that, lately. Yeah. So I don't, I don't even know actual, what that's going to be at. Actual. Oh, that is, that's terrible. That's really, really bad. That's going to be a struggle for them. Any, anybody got questions, you guys? I'm so sorry. I, was in pain. I haven't been looking down. We were just too excited about the, this fight coming up. Uh, this is going to be rough. rough. Hey, my boy. <laughs> that's right, Junior, for sure. Masvidal is going to. He's going to have some fun in there. He is going to have some fun in there. But man, All this right. is crazy. Like, I, I, it's just insane how, like you said, like, I'm surprised. I mean, granted, I know that Abu Dhabi is sexy, the whole idea and everything like that. But it's true, yeah. man. Like, at this point, like, what is, I mean, like you said, for the international fighters, I get it. But mm -hmm. these two guys that they're training here anyways, you know, what is the point of sending the main event all the way over there? You know, yeah, it's not like people are going to be upset it. that bought tickets and stuff like that. Like, no, no. exactly. It's like, <laughs> we're all watching it from the same place, our couch. Literally, it's all going to be for our couch. So they don't, I don't know. I hope they kind of, they're playing, they're messing around with us right now and like saying that they're going to fly, fly over there, but they're just going to stay yeah. here. But another thing too that I'm, I'm thinking about, maybe the reason they can't do it over here is because they flew all their people there and they have nobody here to like, I mean, it's just yeah, too, it's it just be. too... It's just two fighters, and maybe they have to, you know, the whole Nevada State Athletic Commission, they have to do th things there. Maybe there are some hurdles doing it here, but I don't know. It's just two guys. I'm sure there's plenty of refs here if they need a ref for, uh, to, to ref yeah. the fights and for them to get licensed to ref, to ref the fights. I don't think it would be that hard. I'm actually going to ask one of my friends about that, like how hard it would be for that to happen here. But I don't know. It just didn't seem like it, it would be that difficult. But who, who, who knows at this point? I'm just happy enough that this fight is happening. That, that's just...
that's the uh, icing of, of my summer. I, I, there's so many. And after this, uh, this past weekend, we didn't have a, a card. There's fights every weekend until September. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. We nuts. are in July. We got July, August, September of fights like that straight weekend, weekend every weekend. Yes, Eric, we are talking Fight Island. We're talking about the main event uh, for July 11th card. It changed to Jorge Masvidal versus Kamaru Usman. Gilbert Burns uh, is out of the fight due to the COVID virus. A couple other people tested um, positive, too. I think two guys tested positive before they even got to, Abu, uh, got to Abu Dhabi, unfortunately. I think a corner did. One Somebody from a corner did. And then another fighter tested positive, which is Marina, Marina Rodriguez, I believe. She was fighting Carla Esparza. But... Uh, it's just crazy yeah. how this thing is just spreading everywhere. And even if you're in your gym, you're in your house, not moving. That's just... And did you see... I don't know if you saw this. Uh, so Max Holloway did not go to the gym at all for this fight. He did all his sessions with his coaches on Zoom. No way. I mean, that's a smart thing to do because you don't want to be in Gilbert Burns' position right now. Especially yeah. when you're the guy who's... I mean, Gilbert Burns is uh, as well. But especially when you're the guy looking to get the belt back. Because Burns yeah. is looking to get the belt for the first time, but Holloway is trying to to you know be king of that of that domain once again. So um, I don't blame him, man. Like any any literally any precaution that you could take is a smart move at this point because I mean you can get it going to your mailbox really. Like it's, yeah, it's nuts. It, 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 it can come from any for, uh, any force of fashion. So every, yeah. everybody has to be careful. And the fact that Max never left his house was that was. Pretty, pretty innovative, innovative, but I don't know how that's going to help. Him. I don't know if that's going to take away from him not being able to spar because usually he mm-hmm. spars a lot in his, in his camp. So he was just basically hitting bags and what, his coaches are telling him what to do, them game planning. But it's gonna, it's, we're definitely going to see what kind of fighter Max Holloway is with basically yeah. a camp from his house and not being able to spar. That's going to be very, very interesting. But, and that hair. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? I was going to say, <laughs> maybe in combination with the hair, maybe he'll pull a Mike Perry. Maybe he right. won't even bring his coaches. Maybe, maybe he won't will... bring his coaches. <laughs> just yeah, be by, by himself. <laughs> and just, is... He just ices back himself and just do everything. Yeah, exactly. Nobody it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. The Max Holloway uh, quote the that he always, price, always you know, says. Ice on his head. That's it. And just do it by himself. <laughs> yeah, man. All, all right, right guys. exciting stuff, man. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just happy for... With all the surprises, the negative surprises that 2020 has, you know, dropped on our lap, I'm glad that for once there's a nice, there's a nice positive surprise. There's a positive, this year. you know. I know there's been a lot of stuff happening this year, unfortunately. Yeah. But like when these little things happen that are this get us so get our hearts pumping and just like give us some something to look forward to, which is we kind of struggle with that now because everything is the same every day. We don't yeah, know exactly. what's happening. There's so much I don't know. Now we have, you know, these things that are just solidified and we're just like ready for them, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely excited for it. I'm excited for Saturday and we will be Me back too, on Thursday, guys. This was just a surprise mm-hmm. version uh, because of those that breaking news. And anytime, anytime something breaks, we'll be on here. We'll talk. But we'll see you guys on Thursday for a full UFC Fight Island 2, 252 breakdown. I'm uh, 251, excuse me. 251 uh, breakdown of all the fights on the card, predictions, everything you want to need. We'll be back. Nick, thanks for, for coming on. We'll and see no you problem, guys man. soon. Take care, man. Boom. Smiles. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Uh, on Thursday, we'll be back on here. Tomorrow, I got an interview with Nick Lenz at 6 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, I have an interview as well, 3 o'clock with Jeff Bristol. Uh, I'll be posting that tomorrow. And Thursday, we'll be back on here to talk some more fight news. So we'll see you guys on – I'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m., right here. Me and Nick Lenz, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a great one. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Boom.